Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between meters and centimeters. So meters to centimeters and then centimeters to meters. Now one very important thing to keep in mind, one meter equals 100 centimeters. We need this information in order to convert. Let's jump into number one where we have four meters equals how many centimeters? So each meter is 100 centimeters. So we have 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, and 100 centimeters. In other words, four times 100, which is 400. So four meters equals 400 centimeters. So when we go from meters to centimeters, we multiply by 100. Let's move on to number two, where we have nine and three tenths, or 9.3 meters, equals how many centimeters? Now for this one, our number isn't as easy to work with as the four meters in number one. For number one, we were able to use mental math. For number two, what we can do, we can actually move the decimal twice to the right in order to multiply that decimal by 100. When we multiply by 100, we push each digit to the left two places. This increases the value by 100 or multiplies our number by 100. So what we can do, we can move the decimal twice to the right to shift those digits to the left two places. So let me rewrite nine and three tenths here, and we can move the decimal once and then twice to the right. We can fill this gap with a zero and we get 930. So 9.3 meters equals 930 centimeters. Now let's go back up to number one there where we have four meters and I wanna show you that moving the decimal will work for that one as well. So we have four, and the decimal always comes after a whole number. Move it once, twice, fill with zeros here, and we get 400 doing it that way as well. So to recap, when we go from meters to centimeters, multiply by 100. And we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. Let's move on to number three, where we have 800 centimeters equals how many meters? Well, each group of 100 centimeters equals one meter. So we need to see how many groups of 100 are in 800. In other words, 800 divided by 100. That gives us eight. So 800 centimeters equals eight meters. When we go from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. Let's move on to number four, where we have 6,377 centimeters equals how many meters? Now this number is not as easy to work with as the 800 in number three. So what we can do when we divide by 100, we can move the decimal twice to the left. When we divide by 100, we push each digit to the right two places. This will give us 1 100th the value of our original number. In other words, we are dividing it by 100. So we do that again by moving the decimal twice to the left. So let's rewrite 6,377 and the decimal goes at the end of a whole number. Let's move it twice to the left. So once and then twice, it's going to go in between that three and seven. So we get 63 and 77 hundredths or 63.77. 6,377 centimeters equals 63.77. Meters. So to recap, when we go from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. And we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the left. That's going to shift our digits 
two places to the right, therefore dividing our number by 100. Let's try that for number three and see if it works for that one as well. So 800, decimal goes at the end, move it twice to the left, once, twice, decimal in between the eight and the zero. So I wanted to show you that that method gives us eight for number three as well. So there you have it. There's how you convert between meters and centimeters. When we go from meters to centimeters, multiply by 100. And we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. When we go from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. And we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.